the latest on the disaster in the Gulf. A BP stock sell-off that started on Wall Street yesterday continues in London this morning as the company starts to bring more heavy equipment to the Gulf to capture more oil from that blown-out well. CBS News correspondent Mark Strassman is in Grand Isle, Louisiana with the latest on the spill. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Harry. It's not just people on the coast now who are frustrated with BP and its response here. The Coast Guard has now given the company 72 hours to outline a more elaborate, elaborate plan to contain this oil. More commitment, more equipment. Coastal Louisiana is swimming in oil. At least that's how many residents now feel. It's within the next month or so, I'm going to have to take my kids and leave the area because it's not safe here. 52 days into this disaster, no one except possibly BP still knows how big the leak really is. And critics say BP is still holding back material that would help scientists figure out the answer. Our estimates should be independent of BP. We should take them out of the process. Senators fired off a letter telling BP it must not hinder or undermine a truly independent estimate. And BP has yet to concede another potential danger many scientists say is now fact. Massive underwater plumes. Above the surface, there are plumes of smoke. Controlled burns have rid the Gulf of almost 4 million gallons of spilled crude. And at the broken wellhead, by early next week, a second BP riser pipe will funnel oil to a mobile rig, which will burn it. BP's oil collection could spike to 28,000 barrels a day. But critics say it's way too little, way too late. I think it's unfortunate that we're in the situation where we're essentially building the fire truck while we're in the middle of the fire. The irony here is that by far BP's latest fix out in the Gulf has been its most successful. But by the day, frustration, resentment and anger all keep rising with every major phase of this company's response. Harry? All right, I'll take it here, Mark. Thank you very much. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.